I nearly mistook her for myself. With her cheeks pulled tight and a gap to a smile, it was clear to see that blood lines can't be broken. Even if the strands are made from fuzzy phone calls and old photographs, or maybe the lack of. I used to wonder how my father could abandon his own daughter, but that was before I could use myself as an example, before I realized my feet could never run fast enough to reach his bumper, no matter how many street signs I went by before he drove 3,369.6 miles into the distance, before he was two days and 13 hours, 3,660 minutes, 219,600 seconds away. Before he told my mother he never loved her and we all heard him before I realized it's not okay to leave your daughter for months at a time. It's not okay to never call. It's not okay to hand her cigarettes and tell her to inhale. It's not okay, but most of all, it's not okay that you have my mother with four kids, that you abandon her just like her father did, that you abandon her like you abandon everybody. See, I am here because of Emily. I am here because I have a sister somewhere that I've never known. I am here because of all the families that you left behind. I am here. But... You can't hear me, so what is the point of this speaking? Well, it's not about you anymore, it's about me. It's about the void you left where my father was supposed to be. See, if I could tell my 12-year-old self something, I would tell her to stop searching for her father in the faces of strangers, for comfort in bad behavior, for anyone but God to be her savior. See, I used to think that God was complicated. Like, if I prayed hard enough, I might be worthy of loving, but before that, I just assumed that he didn't care, that my father in heaven cared just as much, just as much about my bleeding hands as the one on earth. So I taught myself the art of numbness, worthlessness, and destruction. I hold, honed them like a sharp tool to do myself in. If I could tell my 12-year-old self anything, I would tell her to put down the cigarettes and the facade. They won't make you feel any better that you look a lot sharper when not wearing black. That the cuts on your hands are going to be one of your biggest regrets that you will get your heart broken again but that you will have a strength that you didn't even know was there, that your voice will echo with ambition, and your heart will pulse with a purpose, that you will no longer have to worry about being perfect and fail repeatedly because perfection is in the digression of the ordinary, so it's okay to hit an earthquake because that crumbling is humbling. So when your heart shakes and it shudders and it struggles to utter the actions necessary to accomplish anything, I want you to remember with a little faith you can write your own destiny. All you need to do is turn the page. Thank you.